Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the final charm tutorial. Now all 10 charm tutorials are now on my channel. If you do want me to make a condensed one video of all 10 charm tutorials giving you all the information you need then definitely hit the yes in that poll at the top of the screen right now. But other than that we're going to jump into the binoculars for our final individual charm tutorial and starting off with your first location it's going to be over by the mess hall just sitting on this bench here like so. Now your second location is going to be in the rave area or the recreational area and you'll see it just sitting slightly hidden in the corner here. Now what you want to do is get some fairy dust or an acid pouch whatever you'd like to call it and that just drops from zombies like a carpenter or a nuke and go down to the beach. Now you're supposed to activate your fairy dust and make your way up to the bait and tackle shop. Now opposite the bait and tackle shop you'll see this little glowing orb on the bench and you just want to place the binoculars down there. Now you have to shoot these eight eyeballs that have appeared around the area but as you can see nothing happens unless you're standing inside the hut. You need to do these steps inside the hut but I wouldn't recommend doing it in fairy vision mode because the mist everywhere from the fairy vision just makes it very difficult to see certain eyeballs. So now all of the locations for the eyeballs. Now as you can see I am doing it with a machine gun. It is a bit difficult but it can be done. Now you've got the four eyeballs that are all sitting on top of the totem poles. You've got one inside the window of the house on the island. You've got one on the boathouse just over there, one by the benches right there, and one on the far right island just over there. And they're your eight eyeballs. Now you have to get 15 sniper kills while inside the hut. You can use the M1, still counts as a sniper. And I actually like to use the fairy dust for this bit, especially if it's before round 10, because the fairy dust increases damage, so it's really easy to get kills with the snipers. But you just need to get your 15 kills. And once you've got your 15 kills, don't know if you noticed it there, but this white flash will appear from the binoculars indicating you have completed them. Now you just go up to them and you can pick up the binoculars as a keychain on your weapon. Now what does it actually do? Well when you reload within 3 meters of any other player, it will create an electrical spark in front of that player, directly in front of them, not to the side, it's whatever way they're facing. But what does the blue spark actually do? It kills, harms and stuns zombies. So it can create crawlers as you just saw here, it can outright kill them and it can stun them. This is going to be very useful for camping strategies. Now, I did a lot of testing on this, and a big thanks to my friend Neela14. He's going to be in the description below. I couldn't have done this without him. Now, I did some tests on some random matches because I wanted to know if it worked on more than one person, and it does. This is fantastic. Look, two players, two electrical sparks. All you have to do is reload around the players, and it will create an electrical spark in front of them. It's really that simple and it does it for every single player that is around you. So imagine being in a camping spot and you're behind them and you're just constantly reloading, damaging and harming any zombies that get nearby. Absolutely fantastic. And for reviving, this is fantastic. As you can see that bloke's run off because he can't handle the situation. But in comes the bloke with the charm. And this charm is really good because it even works when a player is down. As you can see, I'm just constantly hitting that left trigger, right trigger, taking out the zombies as quick as I can, reloading constantly to get that electrical spark damage, helping me out in this very clutch situation. And as you can see, it is doing the job lovely and I've managed to revive him. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite charms as a reviver, but check out Neela14 in the description below. I hope you liked the video. Check out the audio afterwards. Remember to vote on that poll. Like, subscribe, and have a beautiful day. I wanted to make it big, but not by lying on my back. I'd heard about how creepy Wyler could be from a few other actresses, but when he started getting overly touchy-feely, I knew there was going to be trouble. I had repeatedly tried to brush him off or keep others on set with me, so I was never alone with him. That day, he had finally cornered me alone, and things dove into uncomfortable.
uncomfortable territory. If it weren't for Jeff, the set foreman's interruption, who knows what might have happened. I should have known the invitation to the theater for an early screening of the work in progress was BS. What I received in the theater was a stack of photos of me with Jacob Geiger, my co-star. This creep had me followed and was acting like some demented, upset boyfriend. When I tried to leave, he pushed me down into the chair and told me he had one last thing to show me. I have no idea how it happened. But when I saw the cabin, and I was back in makeup and costume, I thought I'd lost my mind. The film was nothing like the set. It was somehow real. And so was the masked killer that was running around. I remember the mask coldness of it as my hands pressed against it, trying to free myself from the killer's grasp while he plunged his blade into my stomach. I was dead within moments of the first puncture. Please tell me this isn't my final curve.